I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire 5 laptop. The exact model for this one is an A514-54-356A. That information can be found on the bottom of the laptop on the bottom sticker right over here. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can replace or remove your battery on this model. If your battery is not holding up any more charge you just simply want to replace it or simply you want to remove it. This laptop can work without the battery plugged in so you just have to have the charger plugged in which is still uh, good because the charger is not going to over it's not going to overheat and it's going to last you uh, longer. So I'm going to go quickly inside and how to open it up and how to remove the battery or replace it. First thing first you need a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set and we're going to be using a Phillips number one from this tool set. Also if you get the pro set, the pro set will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers and stuff like that. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick and metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With these two on hand, we're going to get it started. First thing first, we're going to remove all the screws on the bottom cover. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Just go ahead and remove all of them and keep them in one pile. Also, if you like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out through your own upgrades or servicing, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, once we remove all the screws, what you want to do next is to grab the opening tool, and in this case, the guitar pick, and we want to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest. And we just want to work it around like this, and you want to hear those clicking sound. You feel like something is breaking, but nothing is breaking. Those are the clips that are getting loose. You want to do that all around in the front end. You want to do that on the sides, left and right. Once you do the left and right and the front, the back should come out pretty easy. Um, but you don't need to, but I'm gonna do it for you guys. To, you can see, just stick it there, wiggle it around, and that's it. Now all you need to do is grab the bottom cover, bring it up, and put it to one side, and that's it. And you're gonna see the big battery right over, over here in the front. And the model for the battery is right here. It says Acer AP19B5L. I'll try to get the link for this battery and I'll leave it in the video description in case you want to download and buy, purchase yours. This one is a 3440 milliamp hour battery, 15.4 volt. So yeah. First thing first, we're gonna disconnect the battery by removing the gaffer tape over the battery. And you want to put your fingernails, you want to put your fingernails at the side of the jack right here. You want to pull it back evenly, hard, slide it back, just like that. Okay, now the battery is disconnected, we're going to proceed with removing the screws. There's one screw right in here and one right on the other side. There's two screws that holds the battery in place. Remove the two screws and grab the battery and pull it out. And there we have it. Okay, the new battery do come with its own cable, so you don't have to worry. Let's say that you got the new battery in. All you need to do is to bring the battery, put, set it down, make sure the screw holes match, put this corner down by the screw hole, put this one right there, put the two screws for it, so it holds it in place. Next, you wanna grab the jack, make sure evenly not sideways, evenly has to go and you want to pinch it right inside the jack. Put the cable beside it. You don't have to put the gaffer's tape on. It's okay, you don't need to, but they put it in, the, in here anyway. Now, this is really important. Once you put the new battery in, you don't want to power it on and use it right away. You want to leave it off and plug the charger and leave it at least for five to six hours for it to charge. After five to six hours, you want to power on without the charger connected and you want to drain the battery slowly watching some YouTube videos or a movie gently, slowly bring the battery down. Once it's down, you want to power it up. You want to connect it in an off mode for another five to six hours. 
so this way the battery starts doing its own initial charge and discharge so you know its limit you want to do that every time you change your battery once you have the battery in there all you need to do is grab the bottom cover put it top you want to push the case down and you want to hear those click sounds on the sides go all around once you hear all those click sounds all, last thing is to grab the bottom screws and screw it down again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if you have any question or request feel free to leave them in the video comment or try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screw